Hey guys, what is up? Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel, the place where you get bookish love and a whole lot of random. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing of the Unplugged Book Box Limited Edition Cozy Winter. This box is huge. Like, look at this. Look at this, okay? It's not in your typical um, box that it normally comes in every month. So this is going to be an epic box. I just know it. I feel it in my bones and I am excited. When I first got this box, I picked it up, you know, like, uh, and when I saw like, it was heavy. So I'm like, ooh, ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But anyways, enough of me rambling because I want to get into this box. So stick around and let's dive into this box together. Okay, so just so you know, I'm going to be going this way a lot because that's where I have this monstrous box at. <laughs> so the first thing I have with me is this beautiful, cozy winter looking pamphlet. And this is new because, you know, at least from what I know, the last time that I got this box, which was, I believe in October? september maybe sometime then um they didn't have the pamphlet so i do like the fact that now they have a pamphlet and melanie's doing her thing so i'm very proud of her okay so the first item i'm seeing is a huge item so there's just no missing that item <laughs> it feels like a blanket let me see Ooh, God, that's so excited <gasps> I think it is a blanket. Okay, let's just throw this over there without throwing it on Milo because Milo is right down here. <laughs> Wait, it's not a blanket. It's like one of those cozy thingies. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's like a hoodie thing. Let me just open it first, right? That will probably help me. Oh, wait, it is a blanket. <laughs> I look like I have a cold head. You remember that movie? <laughs> if you don't, here you go. <laughs> now here's the man that made it happen last match with <laughs> Oh guys, look at this. Look at I feel all cozy in it. <laughs> I feel like a little kid too, like I love this. I really love this because, oh, wait, we don't want to mess up the hair. We don't want to mess up the slick do. Um, but yeah, I love this. And it has the fleece type that like, com listen guys, I love material like this. It kind of feels like that soft, like comfy teddy bear type feel. And I love that because even just going like this you feel all like it's just relaxing right like yeah that's what that's what i wanted to say but look at how awesome this is and it's hard for you to see the whole thing but i could try it looks like a, a map of something let's see all right let's go into the handy dandy pamphlet oh it's a narnia inspired hooded blanket and it is beautiful and you know what, guys, just to let you know, um, I do have a code for you for this box. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll also link, you know, any artists or any shops and stuff like that that I don't mention in the video. Because, you know, I have a tendency for butchering shop names, names in general, right? So we ain't going to really do that today. It'll all be linked down below. <laughs> okay so item number one definitely gives me cozy vibes and winter vibes because come on narnia oh my god guys i see so many goodies just by glimpsing and i am like a kid in a candy store right now like i am excited oh, let's go so the next item i'm grabbing from the box is this bake beauty body butter and it's winter candy apple and guys, what I love, love, love about Unplugged Book Box 
is that they always give quality, useful items. And it's like natural items, you know, like supporting small businesses. And yeah, I just love the whole natural stuff because I'm all about that natural, okay? I'm all about natural look, natural hair, natural everything. <laughs> natural skincare, everything, okay? Um, but you know, to each their own, if you, I'm not trying to say nothing. Okay. Don't come for me. Don't come for me, but it's in like a, a mason jar type thing. There we go. Ooh, it smells so good. And look at, it, it just makes you want to eat it. <laughs> it has sprinkles and it really looks whipped like whipped cream. I love this. I can't wait to use it. Oh, it smells so good. Another check. Okay, so, ooh, I'm telling you, I love this box, guys. I love this box. So many amazing self-care items. This is a bath salt, or you could use it as a foot soak. And it says Vas Vasilisa. Wait, isn't that from, um... What's that book? I'm looking over there because I have it somewhere. Uh, the Bear and the Nightingale. Right? Is that this? Uh, I'm trying to look for. It is. The Bear and it's inspired by the bear. Blah, blah, the bear. Yeah. No, I was going to say the bale. Okay, Jeannie, let's go. The Bear and the Nightingale in its bath, bath salts. Yes. Okay, yes. Bath salts. This is what it looks like. And you, I don't think, oh, there you go. You can see it. Bye. Yes. So pretty. So pretty. Um, and it says here, the scents are snow drifts, winter fruit, and frost. So let's do a sniff test. Oh, it smells so good. It smells kind of like a hint of like citrus smell. Oh my God. And guys, we get a whole 16 ounces. Like what? That means I could use this probably like three or four times. And if I'm only using it for my feet to soak my feet, I could probably use it even more times. Like maybe I want to say six, eight times, maybe love it. And it smells good. So Okay, so the next item is a candle. It says, books light the way. And the scents are cranberry, pine, and vanilla. It's a nine ounce candle and it's made by the company Natural Pure Honest. And let's see, I don't know if this is inspired by anything. It's not inspired by nothing, it's, you know, for us, you know, book nerds. Oh, it smells good. And look, it has like this, like, it's going to be hard for you to see it in camera, on camera, but it has like a shimmer to it. And I love, love, love that. And it has a wooden wick. Ah, oh, I love candles with wooden wicks. And guys, this is a nine ounce candle. I mean, it's going to last. Okay. It's going to last. I love it. Okay. Next item I am grabbing. Oh. I know where this is from. First of all, it's tea and it says it's wilding herbal mint tea. Love me some herbal teas, okay? Um, and it says it's from the Simply Bookish Co. And it's called Winter is Coming. I mean, uh, in case you don't know, that's from Game of Thrones. Hello. <laughs> and I'm just being... I'm just trying to act like I knew this all my life, okay? I did not know this all my life. I only just learned it this month, basically, because I read A Game of Thrones. So even though, to be honest, I see a lot of stuff that's inspired by A Game of Thrones, and it always says winter is coming. But I think more so now that I'm reading this series, I'm like, oh, I'm part of that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Now we both know that winter is coming. Don't mind your girl. I'm just too a little too excited. I'm just a little too excited, okay? 
and we have a box let's see what this is Ooh, what is this okay so it has a quote and it says not all those who wander are lost and it shows a ring so i'm guessing this is inspired by what's that movie called? oh lord of the rings <laughs> But let's see what this is, cause is it a is it a notebook? No. But then again, you gotta plug it in. Wait, hold up. Okay, so it is inspired by Lord of the Rings, and it's a book like. Wait, ooh, hold up. Let's investigate, guys. And let's give you some ASMR here. look how cool is that oh look and it changes color <laughs> Ooh. Ah. oh <laughs> and it brings a little usb so you could charge it that's cool i wonder is there a way for you to like are you just gonna keep it is it a way for it to just no i guess you would keep it like this yeah i guess i'll figure it out um but that's pretty cool i like it okay guys so in this box i was pretty excited just the fact of being chosen as a rep for melanie's amazing company i love working with her but in this box we are getting three books if i'm not mistaken it's three books so let's see what that is and let's see if i'm correct on the three book stuff first of all look at how cute this packaging is <laughs> and second of all i don't have scissors oh it's easy to tear it open okay we're not we're not gonna be civilized today mm -mm. all right so let's see Ooh. okay so it says the winter sea by Susanna Kearsley. And look at this stunning cover. We just gotta appreciate that cover. We gotta appreciate this spine. So just to let you know a little bit of what this is about, it's about Carrie, who is actually looking to write a best-selling novel of um, her ancestors. And it turns out that her ancestors were part of some 1708 invasion um, of French and Scottish soldiers. But the thing is that Carrie is wondering that if her novel that she's writing is actually more fact than fiction. And she thinks that maybe her ancestors are kind of like talking to her from the other side. You know, they're like, yo, Carrie, we need to tell you something that you don't know and you think it's not real, but it's real and girl you need to write this right <laughs> so yeah so she's trying to figure out you know if she's the only person that knows this truth and it's like some ultimate betrayal thing going on here and you know betrayals love that and this sounds amazing i just may have to get to this one swap out something from there <laughs> put this one in listen okay don't judge me i'm horrible but let's go to the next book okay she look cute yeah she look cute there all right here's another book and i am living for this packaging it's so cute it's definitely winter vibes like i love it I, I love when there's such an aesthetic present in boxes i love that because you know it just goes to show like how much thought is put into it oh that's what it is it is actually a series that we're getting yes 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 it is three books it's a trilogy all right so this one is called the firebird and it's by the same author susanna kearsley wait or is it a series or maybe it's like it just all comes together um but this one it says here, two women, one mysterious relic, separated by centuries. 
So I'm guessing it's like in the same world maybe. But in this one, we're following Nicola. And she was born with a gift that's rare. What? We love that. We love that. Already, you got me. But it's also dangerous. And she keeps it buried. Okay, so then this woman who kind of seemed desperate to Nicola comes to her talking about, listen, I have this small wooden carving for you. And it's called the Firebird. And she claims that it happens to belong to Russia's Empress. And her name was Catherine. And that's a problem because there's really no proof behind that. However, Nicola is like, yo, you know what? Even though this woman seemed desperate, something tell me she's telling the truth. So, yeah, that's where it leaves us. And... This seems interesting and good, and I, I am ready for it because I have been loving reading um, historical fiction, and this has fantasy elements, and I love fantasy. I've been loving historical fiction, and the few historical fantasies that I have read, I, I've been loving it. I've been living for it, and we're going to live for this one too. Love it. Okay, you could you could kind of see it. You could you could kind of see it. Hopefully she stays safe up there. Okay, last but not least, the last book and look, snowflakes. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Um, how y'all doing though? Sipping on your coffee? Y'all still here with me? Cool. You still here with me? I love you so much. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notification girls, cause your girl. You ain't gonna want to miss stuff with me, but let's go to this. Okay, so we have another book by Susanna Kearsley, and this one is called The Vanished Days. Okay, so this is somebody else also writing a story because here, listen to this. I have been persuaded now to take my pen in hand and tell the story as it should be told. What? Yes, that sounds like a whole lot of secrets and drama coming. So in this one, we are taking a journey to autumn of 1707, where old enemies from the Scottish Highlands to borderlands are finding common ground in joining a protest against new union with England. Somebody is trying to reclaim their throne, which I mean, if this their throne, they have a right to that, right? And the streets are filled with discontent and danger. So he better be careful. Then we have a queen here her name is Anne, seeking to calm the situation right she's like hold up guys we're not doing that here okay we need to keep the peace let's keep it together we don't want no drama okay let's let's not okay so the queen started sending money and it seems like there was something going on and she's bankrupt or somebody's bankrupt and this young widow decides to come forward and she's probably like, yo, you know what? You over here sending money here and there to try to keep the peace, right? But what about my money? What about the money that I'm entitled to from my husband, okay? Like, come on, I need my money too. Then there's some man assigned to investigate to determine if she's telling the truth or if his own troublesome feelings are blinding and misleading him. Hmm, so maybe he's trying to fall for this woman. He's like, yo, boo, you know, I know you a widow and you might be grieving or maybe your hubby died a while back, but what's up? What's good? <laughs> it's not only a matter of justice, but of lost love and a nation betrayed. So this sounds amazing too guys like i don't know what y'all think about these three books so far like comment down below because it sounds interesting and i'm here for it and let's put this one maybe right here I, I it's gonna bother me that i didn't align this one hold up guys there we go okay <laughs> yes guys so that was the three books signed book plates for all three of them this is so exciting because not only did we get some great quality items, which to be honest, it's not like I was expecting anything different from this box. 
Um, but we also got three books. My only thing with that is now I got to figure out where am I putting it? <laughs> but you know what? I'll figure it out. I'm excited to read these and yeah, guys, like tell me what did you what did you what did you think like about this box? Did you like any of these items cuz I know a lot of them I'm excited for, but let me know what you thought. Guys, if you're interested in getting this box, make sure you use my code journey5 and I also have that link down below. So as always, guys, you already know, let's chat it up in the comments below. What did you think? Did you like these items? Would you get this box? You know, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Let's talk about your day, about your week, about what you've been up to lately. I don't care what it is. Let's talk about it down below. Let's party on about it down below. How about you check out this video right here if you haven't already? And as usual, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I love you guys so much. Leave this emoji right here down below. And remember to sprinkle a little love and kindness everywhere you go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. And see you in my next video. Bye.